Guys, we got four key points to being a self-sufficient martial artist. The first thing is gonna be your dojo bag. Whether you're going to the gym, uh, whether you're going to the dojo, anywhere, you gotta have some kind of a duffel bag, something to put all of your things, everything has a place, your uniform, your requirements, your safety gear, your sparring gear, everything can go into here, and I know where it's all at. Your second thing, the second point, it's going to be your uniform. Make sure that you're always respectful. Clean your uniform. Hang your uniform. Show respect. Make sure that your belt is tied correctly. Uh, make sure that you're presentable. And make sure you're respectful at all times. That's the second point. The third point. One, two, three. Third point is going to be your requirements. Every martial arts school has requirements. You got gold belt high gold belt, all the way to black belt. This is your very guide to becoming a successful martial artist at your dojo so you can learn everything in here. Every school should have some kind of curriculum. So that is what you must follow all the way to black belt. And that's why you need a bag because in your bag, you can keep your requirements. That way you don't lose these. They just don't go in the trash or under the coffee table. Boom, it goes right back into my own duffel bag that I keep with me. Um, safety, the fourth point, mouth guard, martial arts cup, things that keep us protected, whether you're competing, whether you're not, you want to have these safety things. See guys, I got my mouth guard. I can do this. And if somebody hits me, I'm probably good. So I can protect my teeth. Okay. That's it guys. See you on the next video. Peace.